Welcome to this week's episode of Five Minutes of Management. He's Rick Bell. I'm Frank Coleman. Rick, we probably have one of the weirder episodes of Five Minutes of Management, but I think it's in a good way. We're going to talk about if it's cool for employers to put microchips in employees. You heard that right. And a throwback to 2007, an employer asking job candidates for their social media passwords? Seriously? Yeah, What's we're going to go there. So, Rick, let's start with what might be one of the weirdest stories I've personally heard this year. I don't know about you. Although I won't make any promises, there might be some weirder stories. On August 1st, employees at Three Square Market, a tech company in Wisconsin, can choose to have a chip the size of a grain of rice injected between their thumb and index finger. According to the New York Times, once that is done, any task involving an RFID technology like swiping into an office building or paying for cafeteria food can be accomplished with the wave of a hand. The program isn't required, thankfully, according to the New York Times, but as of late last week, more than 50 of the firm's 80 employees headquartered in River Falls, Wisconsin, have opted in. Rick, where do we even start with this? Oh, well, you know, Frank, I'm going to take a little bit different spin on it. I, I just think it's part of the wave of the future. Um, now, is everybody going to do it? No. But again, this program is voluntary. So I think that's really important, Frank. That one word, voluntary, is really important. Uh, I just see this as being something that we're going to be dealing with in, in the future. Um, it's not going to go away. 10, 15, 20 years from now, I think this is going to be a lot more commonplace. And, it's not going to be a weird story. Yeah, we live in a world where Facebook is talking about developing technology that allows us to type with our thoughts. Uh, so I guess this is just kind of where we're headed. Although part of me wonders if this is going to be kind of like the Google Glass phenomenon where we're a little bit uh, in awe of the technology when it first comes out, but nobody really wants to use it. And also from my point of view, you know, what's the difference between waving your hand and just waving your phone or waving a, a company card you know it's it's almost as if they're going so far to put a chip in their hand that doesn't really do that much more than what they're already doing right and plus who wants to have their company tracking them on the weekend? well i mean like, there's 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 certainly some downsides to it i mean you know you're looking at the possibility of okay we're just doing that for you to buy some a bag of potato chips but what's going to happen if you have that chip in your hand a year or two, three years from now, are they going to be looking at your personal data? So there, there's definitely a downside to it and, and a, and a long-lasting effect. I think that there's a place for it in the workplace and obviously if it's done correctly and properly. All right, Frank, it's time to do some time travel here. Back to the stone age of social media, 2007. Hmm. Back when employers thought, eh, you know, sound business practices, it's, it's okay to ask job candidates for their passwords to their social media sites. You know, MySpace, Bebo, FriendFeed, uh, that quickly was shot down and the practice more or less died. Uh, NBC, however, has reignited it. From the New York Post, a fired NBC employee claims a recruiter who initially contacted her for a job uh, specifically told her NBC wanted good-looking employees and wanted to see pictures before she could get her foot in the door for an interview. Well, you know, that Frank, the recruiter, asked uh, to, uh, for her to show the Facebook and the Instagram uh, profiles to NBC before she could be interviewed. Uh, most employers think, avoid this practice, Frank. It's bad HR policy besides, and there are some legal ramifications. Your thoughts? Yeah, Rick, you know, if NBC is interested in maybe hiring a new news team, it doesn't need to see our Facebook profiles because we are already viral internet sensations yeah. thanks to our five minutes of management series. But personally, I think this is foul. I think especially before coming into the interview, it's almost like you need to verify that you're good looking before you're even interviewed. If it was for an on-camera role, I could see how appearance is maybe part of the gig. But if this is for something off camera, this is way out of line and a little bit creepy. Yeah, definitely. Well, Rick, that's all we have for this week's episode of Five Minutes Management. Speaking of social media, all of our viewers can follow us on Twitter at, at Workforce News. Also subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Until next week, he's Rick Bell. I'm Frank Collin. We'll see you next time. And I'm waving to shut off the camera with my microchip in my hand. <laughs>